Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Todd Crisley cuts loose, forced to embrace aging behind bars Todd Crisley has reportedly cut loose and is embracing aging behind bars. The reality TV king has reportedly fallen from grace and is no longer aging like a fine wine without his wads full of cash to pay for plastic surgery and hair dye. Some fans, however, admit they aren't too surprised and question if he's actually embracing aging or just forced to accept it as he's rotting behind bars without access to his lavish lifestyle. Speaking to Daily Mail Online, a source close to the Crisley family claims Todd Crisley is unrecognizable as he no longer has access to his lavish lifestyle that has allowed him to go to war with the natural process of aging. His Botox is fading, his sink is starting to sag, and his hair has started to go gray. All of his older children have admitted on various podcasts that it was a bit startling to see how different their father looks behind bars without his routine Botox treatments and blonde hair. While embracing aging may not be something Todd Crisley has much of a choice but to accept behind bars, the inside source claims he's also had a change of heart in the guilt department. From the very beginning, Todd Crisley and his wife Julie have always claimed to be victims. They claimed they were set up. And, they claimed they were innocent of everything they've been accused of. The source claims that in the four months, Todd has been behind bars, he's had a lot of time to think about what caused him to be in the position he's in. And, the source claims Todd Crisley has finally come to terms with the fact that his own greed is to blame for the reason both himself and his wife are currently rotting behind bars. The insider did affirm Todd Crisley and his wife Julie hired a very powerful attorney to file an appeal and get their conviction overturned. The chances of that happening, however, seem to be unfounded as federal convictions only get overturned about 5% of the time. The source went on to reveal, after their conviction, Todd hired power attorneys at Burr and Foreman to take on their appeal, but it is going so slow for them. They were told by people on the inside very familiar with the process that, despite them believing they did not get a fair trial and the court erred, overturning the jury's decision is next to impossible. They are both aware of this. Why do you think Todd and Julie decided to fight for an appeal to overturn their case after being told it was highly unlikely to go anywhere? Do you think they should have just plead guilty and hoped for a reduced sentence? Share your thoughts with us in the comments down below. And, keep coming back for more Crisley news.